Welcome to Cavaline Productions Plus. I'm Matthew. Today we're going to hop right back into ProPresenter 7 and take a look at their screen settings. Before we do, please know that ProPresenter has two classifications of screens. We have audience, which is any screen being viewed by an audience, being in the space or online, maybe it's in another room in the facility, wherever just the, the audience is watching. And then they also have stage screens. This is any screen being viewed from the stage. Maybe it's a row of confidence monitors on the lip of the stage. Maybe you have a large monitor way in the back of the auditorium or space in which you're in. These are all considered stage screens. Also know that screens can be linked. So if we're doing, say, uh, three screens, a center, left, and right, well, the center can be independent. It's one screen. And then left and right can be independent one screen, making two screen settings, not three. You get it. All right. So let's uh, hop in here and take a look. All right. So with ProPresenter open, we're going to actually head over to screens in this top menu here. And then hit the drop down and configure our screens. Uh, so screen one uh, is already started. It's usually the monitor. Um, so we're going to hit, uh, we're going to change this. And I'm just going to rename it to center. Easy enough. Now in the output section, uh, right now I have it set to placeholder. But you can have it set up to any output that you already have configured. Maybe you're using a deck link quad or duo, duo quad, which will give you eight outputs. You just need to know which output is going to which screen ahead of time, or you're going to be doing a lot of guessing, which can be done and that you can figure it out. Don't worry. So, but I'm just using a placeholder. All right. So that's my center screen. Now I'm going to be setting up my left and right screen, but let's uh, set up a scenario. Say I have uh, five audience screens and I'll explain which, what five or what, and then two stage screens. All right. So let's get back in. So we have our center screen already made. Now, if you want to add another screen, just add plus. And this is shows the, uh, the screens are already connected. These are my display screens, so we're not going to use them. So we'll just do another placeholder. And you need to know what your screen projector uh, television is capable of. So let's say it's 19 by 20 by uh, 19 by 20, 1080p, 59.4. And immediately name it left and right. Boom. And then we're going to make sure we have our placeholder. So now we got uh, two more screens to set up. I said five, but maybe we'll just do four. We're going to add another screen placeholder. Once again, your screens will show up here. Your outputs will show up here. This is what you're going to be using. You're not going to be using placeholder, new placeholder, same thing, 1920, 1080, 59.4. And we're going to call this uh, alpha because sometimes we'll be using an alpha key for uh, uh, lower thirds, you know, the lyrics on the bottom of the screen, or maybe you're using it for your scripture notes. We'll talk more about that in looks in our next video. So we're just going to call this alpha. If I can spell alpha correctly, boom, center, left, right, alpha. And let's do one more. Actually, that, that looks pretty good. Uh, you know what? Hey, let's do place new placeholder. Same thing, but we'll call this one lobby. Maybe we have a dedicated screen out in our lobby. And we're good. So we got center left and right alpha key and lobby. Now we're going to set up our stage displays. And in this scenario, I'm going to give you two stage displays. We're going to pretend that we have a row of monitors on the front edge of our stage, as well as a large confidence monitor or projector, however you want to do it in the back of our space. Uh, one reason why you would do two different ones is maybe we're running uh, lyrics, uh, notes, teleprompter on our front edge of our stage, but our back screen, we're heavy. Uh, time of day 
and a countdown timer because we don't want our speaker to go over time, especially if we're doing three shows or three services and we have a certain amount of time we can only be allotted for to get one audience out and another audience in. So let's do that. So stage plus same thing, new placeholder. We'll say it's the same thing, 1920, 1080p 59.4. Remember, this is going to be dependent on whatever screen you are using. And I'm going to call this uh, uh, stage front. And do another one, new placeholder 59.4. And we're going to call this back of house. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five screens for our audience, and then we have two for our stage uh, front and back. If you're having a hard time identifying these, you can actually give them screen colors, like uh, they're red, and I'm gonna turn it on, and then it'll always show red, uh, whatever color you want to, if you're just trying to figure out you know, your inputs. Hey, I, I know I want my red to be center, I'm, I'm taking inputs in, I'm plugging inputs out, et cetera, to find uh, which screen is which. Maybe they didn't label it. Maybe you had a bit terrible installer. This will help you. You can also identify screens. It'll tell you what the screen is, what is your resolution, et cetera, on the screens, as well as your outputs. All right, pretty easy to do. Hopefully this makes sense to you. Once again, if you liked what you saw today, if this helped you out, please help me out by liking and subscribing. It certainly does help along the way. Once again, have a great day. Keep rocking.